Hi everyone, I'm Arbati and welcome back to another episode of Europa Universalis 4 Multiplayer Co-op with Kelvin. Hello! So, we finished another war, took a lot of- or I finished another war, took a lot of territory. What are you doing? You know, just sort of sitting in India, eating. Oh, Lovely yeah, Indian food down here. Right. Mm -mm. Add a little uh, spice to my vagina, girl. I should probably take Isbarar from them or something. Yeah, we are kind of getting to a bit of border gore here, aren't we? Uh huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I could take Isberar, Barathwada. I'm probably butchering these names terribly. And you'll take everything else? I don't know. I'm just going to keep eating things for a while. Well, I'll let I you know when I work my way up there. Okay. I want to vassalize Moltan, but I'm a little bit wary of Dickering War while I have 68% overextension. Yeah. That's not the smartest idea of all time. Yeah, it's not, really. So uh, I think I'll see. wait. Yeah, I think I'll just wait. Probably. Oh yeah, and I think our truce with the Ottomans expired by now. Yeah, I told you about that at the end of the last episode. Mm, yeah. I don't think they will attack us, but... Yeah, I've been too busy funding Egyptian patriots. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, gonna get myself an alliance here with them, um, them mm. Mamluks. By the way, did you look at a military ledger recently? Uh, Moscovy has like 90,000 troops. Yeah, that's because they've been able to colonize. Mm, yeah. Though they're blocked now, so they should stop growing, but, you mm -hmm. know. Uh, I still think France is gonna be the big dog. Yeah, oh, definitely. I mean, what, what do you mean will be? They already are. Yeah. Yeah, I will be getting a lot of rebellions in here. Yeah. I sure. guess that's to be expected. Yeah, it's going to be manageable, though, pretty easily, I think. Yeah. And I'm trying to avoid spending too many military points for harsh treatment. Yeah. Because I'm not getting a lot of military power per month, only five per month. I was getting more with Regency Council. Woohoo! In theory, only nine months very often. until I'm fully reinforced. Alright. Oh yeah, I can actually get level 20 military tech now. That's can I? great. Yeah, I can. I've been building buildings, so I'm locked at 15. That's extra combat with infantry fire and a new cannon. Cool. Alright. There we go. Whoops. You're at 15, still. The yeah. Ottomans are at 18. Yeah. I know. France is at 21. Wow, okay. Well, they're Western. What do you expect? Yeah, yeah, I know. Of course they're going to be ahead of you. I'd be surprised if you were on par with them. Mm. Well, if I had more military power per month, I could be on par. I was on par with them earlier, while I still had my good military leaders. Yeah. The ruler is not that great in military, only three. Well, we'll see. I'm just kind of hoping my king drops dead soon. But he Three, won't. five, two. That's my new air. I'll take it. So, I eventually figured out how the game's gonna troll me. Mm -hmm. With uh, this five, four, five air. Yeah. He's only nine years younger than my king. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, of course his air's gonna survive. Mm. He'll survive right up to his old age, just like his father. <laughs> yeah. Then proceed to die a year after taking the throne. Been there, done that. Yep. Oh, the cars are almost done already. That was quick. Yeah, like I said, it's not mm. too bad. Did they make it faster in Wealth of Nations or something? No, it's it's faster because um, culture group. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. They're in the Iranian culture group and you're mm -hmm. Persia, so you get a special bonus. Yeah, yeah. Similarly, Russia gets a bonus against Belarusian, Ukrainian, mm -hmm. 
etc. Yeah, yeah. I still don't know what idea group I want to go for. Have you just been sitting on an open idea group? Yeah. Yeah, I do that sometimes. Mm. Yeah. Don't I would go for that. something in diplomatic ideas, but they are just not that useful for me. Yeah. I won't go for anything in the military because I'm already low on military power and I have two military groups already. So really? the only reasonable choice is innovative ideas or religious ideas. Administrative. I don't mm. know. Innovative ideas are not too bad. No, they aren't. I like the tech cost reduction, even if it's not big. Yeah, that's the only but thing it... I've hated about it. It's just such mm. a small reduction. Mm, but it adds up over time. I think I I'll just go for religious. That makes sense in yeah. my situation. It's not a bad, uh, not a bad thing at all. I have like twenty provinces that I need to convert. So, all right, religious, it's done. <laughs> all right. And zero overextension. Now I'm going after Multan. Wait, did I say you can do that? Stupid rebels. Hey, what? Just Egyptian rebels stop attacking the Ottomans to come attack me. No, oh, okay. Yerks. What do I pay you bastards for? Oh well. Well, I said I won't use harsh treatment, but I just did that. I don't want to declare war while having 17% revolt risk. Get used to it. You're going to be using lots of harsh treatment, don't worry. It's, it's, it's a good thing. Let's see. How can I get this up? 125, I need 190. Oh, damn it. If I lose 30 opinion with you, will that break our alliance? Uh, let me check. Right. I, we don't even have an alliance in the first place. Right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> but I totally want to insult you yet again. But my alternative is lose one stability. Well, just insult me then. Good All right. God. Minus 120. Yeah, we gave are up we on the alliance. Are we guaranteeing each other? Yeah. Uh, yeah, we are. That's okay, we just have to instead. rely on that, I guess. Eh, you know what? I need another rival. Might as well at this point. Well, I already like that I picked the religious ideas that gave me a castle's belly on yeah. Moltan. Yeah, exactly. First that's thing in already worth religious ideas is freaking castle's belly on everybody. Yeah, that's already worth it. Okay. Well, the war with Moltan will be a slightly one-sided one. Just a little bit. It's just a comp stomp at this point. Yep. And no one is going to help them. Nobody ever helps them. Hey, I have a mission to claim more moves. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I don't think I'll be doing that. Yeah. Like I said, I, I've given it up. The the game wants us to be enemies. Fine, we'll be enemies. But we don't actually have to give a shit about being enemies. Yep. I mean, guaranteeing each other is almost as good as having alliance. Yeah. The only thing is we can't call each other into offensive wars, so we can't yeah. be too stupid about it. Yeah, yeah. But I don't plan to be. Yeah. And we are both strong enough to expand. Just need to be careful with Manchu, I suppose. Yeah. Okay. I'll just keep an eye on them in case they change their technology group. Yeah, they they get something where they just inherit mm -hmm. Ming. Yeah, yeah, so okay. And uh, they change over technology groups and all that shit. Mm-hmm. 
Uh... If they attack Kazakh one more time, we will probably get a border with them. Yeah. Or I will get a border with them, not we. Yeah, well. At this point, there's, you know, we're a team. <laughs> yeah, yeah. To speak for one is to speak for both. And all that inspirational jazz. Something, something teamwork. there. Alright. <laughs> hmm. So are you at war right now? No, I'm just... Actually, should I be at war? Yes, I should be. Well, I'm about to be at war. Why, do you need something? Nope. Okay. Just curious. I've been uh, playing my little game with the Mamelukes. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, you want to vassalize them. Yeah, I'm very close to it. Mm-hmm. I've got my relations with them up to 183 in Rising. Yeah. I have to fund them with so much money in subsidies, though. I'm giving them, like, five gold a month. Mm-hmm. That's, that's like... You know, giving them eight times their income. Yeah. Uh, oh well. Do loan offers uh, increase relations? I forget. No idea. Eh, let's give them a small loan and find out. Oh yeah, I have 100% war score. Almost. Almost didn't notice that. So vassalize, get all their money, uh... and done. That was quick. Yeah. Good for you. Now my diplomats can actually do something useful. Oh, I'm still at war. Oh, Khorasan attacked me. I didn't even notice that. Khorasan attacked Weird. you? Something weird happened. Uh, okay, hold on. I need to pause this for a moment. And I got rev re revolt, I mean. Uh, hold on. Something really strange happened. Uh, I... Malwa attacked you. Oh, right. And I there's confused whole... Malwa with Multan. I thought I'm at war with my own vassal. I'm like, what? <laughs> How is that even possible? Yeah, Malwa attacked you and called Coruscant in the coalition. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just confused Malwa and Moltan. I thought I'm at war with my own vassal. You crazy. <laughs> I'm like, what? How is that even possible? <laughs> so sometimes you need someone else to have a quick little look at what the hell you're doing. <laughs> well, they are going to regret attacking me. That's for sure. Especially now that I finished that war. Yeah. And I got a uh, five shock, general. Not bad. At this point in time, shock's becoming shit. Fire's mm -hmm. where it's at. Yeah, I suppose. Still decent though. Yeah. So now I could annex Herat. There Herat. we go. What happened? Oh, you got the <laughs> Mamluks. No, I, I just know, decided right? to crank it up. Mm -hmm. I am now re okay. getting one hundred and seven relations yearly. Mm-hmm. With the Mamluks, okay. is how much money I'm giving them. I may also be giving them 46 gold a month. Mm -hmm. 46 gold a month? Okay. <laughs> What's your total income, then? Somewhere in the negatives now. Eh, not too bad. It's negative four. Is I... I just and need to wait your, just a little while. What's your base total income? Like on the economy screen? Uh, economy screen. But not the monthly total balance, your total income. Income. 91. Okay, I'm at 47. 
Mm. I guess you invested in economy more. Oh yeah, yeah. It's most it's mostly just trade income. I'm not gonna mm -hmm. lie. I right. set myself up for that. Yeah. Trade and production, good shit. You invested militarily. I invested economically. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But I will have the Mamluks as my pet. Mm-hmm. I'm Even... trying to figure out what the heck Khorasan and Malwa was smoking when they attacked me. Like, what? I don't know. That makes no sense, them attacking me. Uh, I stopped asking questions about what the AI was doing a long time ago. Yeah. When the Ottomans attacked Venice. Pretty much. It was around the time where I stopped asking questions. Which was beginning of the end of Ottomans in this game. Yeah. In fact, they would have been fine if they didn't attack Venice. It's true, we probably still would be a stand at a standstill. Mm, yeah. Oh, I actually have a positive event. Good government policies. Neat. Plus one stability. Oh, right, I'm at minus three stability. I just noticed that. Should probably fix that. That's usually a good idea. Just a bit. I guess that happened when my ruler died. I must have missed some events. Yeah. But my revolt is, is still through the roof in some provinces. Yeah, that'll happen. Alright. 14%. So, the Mamluks now have roughly... 600 gold. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just for my subsidies. <laughs> there you go. At least they're my vassal now. That's what's important. Yeah, I'm getting a lot of rebellions now. I guess that will happen. Mm. 29 rebels. You shit's a little high, ain't it? Yeah. I just well, want to take that one province from Khorasan. <laughs> And I'll be signing a peace treaty as soon as my siege is over. There we go, it's over. So can I annex it already? I can. Give me your money. <laughs> there we go. And I took my last call. Finally. Good work. That took longer than it should have. Yeah. You really uh, took your sweet time with that, huh? You didn't annex them? There were only two provinces. I only annexed Herat. Yeah, I just... don't want to go overboard just yet. Mm. Alright, whatever. Especially because I have a coalition against me. And uh, may or may not include the Ottomans. Yep, it does include the Ottomans. Out of curiosity then, why the fuck when Malwa declared war did uh, the Ottomans not okay. come in? I just got the Afghan rebellions event that's plus 10 revolt risk in multiple provinces. Ooh. That's going to be fun. Oh, that sucks. That's, yep. that's scripted. That is scripted. Yeah, yeah, that's scripted, for sure. Yeah. I'm just going to chill in this general area. Yeah, that, that's some so, scripted stuff. Good thing I ended that war. Yeah, no kidding. Just in time. Alright, we'll just sit here then. There's a reason no empire has ever survived the occupation of Afghanistan. <laughs> yeah. It's called the Graveyard of Nations for a reason. Mm. You know, something pisses me off. Yeah? I still haven't managed to get a fucking border with a Western nation. Mm hmm. <laughs> because, for yeah. whatever the fuck reason, there's these two goddamn provinces in Africa that mm -hmm. Castile and Portugal seem to just not want to touch. Yeah. Just like, god damn it, one of you two. Give me westernization capacity. Alrighty. That's one of the reasons I've been putting less focus on tech. Mm -hmm. Because I figured I could catapult myself later. Yeah. Well, I'm getting revolts, but in completely different area now. That's... good? Good and bad at the same time. Uh, 
I don't know. If I send my army there, and then I get massive revolts in Afghanistan, that would be potentially bad. Yeah, just a little bit. But I have pretty good leaders, so there's that. Yep. I'm just one right now, apparently. Out of curiosity, what's your mercantilism up to? I got 46. It's, uh, 20. 20? So, yep, 20. 20%. Wow, did you just start losing it or something? You still have I more. guess so. Oh yeah, I think I had a few events that made me lose it or something like that. Uh... Or I just wasn't getting events that added some. No, you had more than that earlier. Yeah, I guess I lost some then. Oh no. Religious intolerance in my nation that has 100% religious unity. Whatever will I do? Mm -hmm. <laughs> tolerance of nobody decreased by two. So, how do I find out how long this modifier is going to last? Because it's not listed in country modifiers. It's not listed in province modifiers. I just can't see it anywhere. Um, in, name a province that is under effect by it. Uh, Gore. 23% revolt risk because of it right now. I see. Um, Kandari? Kandar? Uh, yeah, yeah, that's under effect a bit. Mm -hmm. You'll notice it says base revolt risk. It just yeah. goes down over time. Mm -hmm. So okay. it's plus 10, but it's now only plus 8.92. Ah, okay, I get it. Yeah, It's slowly, slowly degrading. So why just wait, basically? Yeah, you basically just gotta wait it out. Mm. It's messiest right. at first. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Well, at least... I got rid of the Ottomans in this coalition. That's good. What are you up to then? No, I'm just eating things. Om nom nom. Mostly oh, yeah, in India. Vijayanagar. Yeah. I love eating me some VJ. Mm-mm. Cities demand all rights. Can they piss off instead? It tends to be my response. Back off. Well, fortunately, I had 100 legitimacy, but that event can be pretty bad if you're sitting at, let's say, 50 legitimacy. Oh yeah, that's that's rough times ahead. All right. Another infidel. Oh, I just picked a mission that I shouldn't have picked. <laughs> Apparently. Why? Was it protect against Manchu? Oh no, that's the wrong province or something? Okay, that was weird. Hmm. Uh, hold on. There's a province. There are two provinces with the same exact name. What? Sounds about right. Strange. Bihar? Yeah. Like. Hold on, right, I have too much stuff going on right now. There's the province of Bihar. Lose piety. Gain piety. God damn it. I'm pretty certain there's only one Bihar. Hold on. No, yeah, I... there is two Bihars. Yeah, there are two Bihars. I, I, uh, yeah, that's, that was, there's one province in India I always had that problem with. Yeah. Because there's a second one. That's in Hungary. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I got a mission, I accepted a mission to spread culture to Bihar, I click it, and I go all the way to Hungary, and I go like, what? How am I supposed to spread my culture there? Yeah, the game isn't that smart. <laughs> we wish it was. We deeply, deeply wish it was. But it's not. Not in the slightest. Yeah. There we go. It's all over soon, BJ. Breathe in the death. Do you want me to declare war on them to take these two provinces? Eh, all yours, whatever. I guess I can do it. They're kind of shattered, broken, yeah. crippled. Any other I'll word you want to use, really. If I don't have any allies, should be easy enough. Do as you will. 
And I have an army down there, so... Mm -hmm. There, much better. So, you know what? Mm -hmm. I have great news. We've got a yeah. full two episodes now without removing kebab. Yeah. <laughs> also, how about did kebab ally Bohemia? I'm actually a little bit surprised that no one declared war on them. Yeah. Well, I've been secretly funding covert ops rebels and managed to get the yeah. looks free. I still giggle at that. Oh well. It, the fact that it is, it's Cairo. It's mm -hmm. an eight tax freaking province, and I don't have to take it directly anymore. Yeah. So I'll take it. Whatever. Mm hmm. Good stuff. But, uh, yeah. I think soon. Uh, yeah, once I'm done here. Oi, what the hell are you doing, boy? Get, 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 get your shoulders on. Fucking right. Oh, yeah, those rebels. Right. I still have 15 transports sitting in farts. I should probably just disband them or something. Probably. Not very useful right now. No real reason for them to be there. But, uh, yeah. We pretty much divvied up the Indian subcontinent here. Mm -hmm. Yep. Not bad. Not bad at all. I think I might have to siege their other provinces. I'm not sure if this will give me enough war score. Well... Yeah, you can siege up to 75% of them. Mm -hmm. Actually, you can walk through me and right, right onto their freaking yeah, yeah. capital. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can. So, go right I there. Guess I'll do that. Boy, get your ass back here, boy. This freaking. I slid a guy on autonomous rebel suppression mm -hmm. just because I'm too lazy to do anything. Um, and he keeps trying to run down to Africa mm -hmm. through you. It's like, no, you're not running through the whole of Persia, Afghanistan, Arabia. And yeah. Africa here. Just sit your ass down in India. Yeah, basically Valdry is, is going way down now. Yeah, like I said, just kind of degrades over time. You'll be fine. Mm -hmm. But uh, I think it's about time we ended this episode. Yep. Alright. So thanks for watching, everyone. So long. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.